Okay, so I'm about to apply my decals for my Singer sewing machine. Um, I brought mine from Brisbane. It's called um, Sewing Machine Decals and it's from Etsy. Um, and mine was a um, 201k number three um, decals that I brought um, online. And it comes with a how to do. I'm just about to set up my table with all the things I need to start this process. So we're just soaking our decal in the water, put a squirt of um, dishwashing liquid. I've got my gloves on, um, cut it all out, saying one mil around the edges, no sharp corners and to soak for 30 to 60 seconds. So we're just waiting and hoping that it's all good. Okay so I had it soaking in my container and it sunk to the bottom of the container and then I had to try and lift it up and then the decal was coming off the paper as I was trying to lift it up so I had to realign it back onto the paper, lift it out, let the water drain, slide it on but it was a bit tricky sliding it on because it's a curved surface and um, also because it was not really coming off the paper the way I thought it would um, so I had to take off my gloves because it wouldn't um, I couldn't get it off with the gloves on so it's more or less just a um, clean hand situation where you use your hands and a little tiny brush to get it off and then smooth it out with the big brush with water and then just position it and um, it does have a tiny little line that goes all the way along but because we're going to be clear coating it a few times we probably won't be able to see that and I don't mind if I see that because at least it's all stuck to the machine properly but now I've just got to smooth out little bumps and do the next lot of decals which is the whole machine okay so this is my second lot of decals the first one I put on I smoothed it out um, and it had a few nicks and bumps on it so now I've had to restart so I'm not sure if I want to soak it in the water because it might come off the paper before it even gets put on the machine because that's what happened last time um, maybe I'll just dip it in the water for less time and see if that helps and then put it on smooth it and then leave it so that it doesn't have nicks and bumps in the writing around the edges of the writing because you could tell after I moved it a few times So I've placed it on the machine, I have a ruler, um, I was just trying to sort of align like where to place it because um, it's really hard to get it to sit right because it's triangular, you know, it's sort of like that. So you've got to try and on an angle place it on. I'm going to get a brush, I'm going to wet some of it and see if that helps with the uh, back side of the decal. Oh, but yeah, it, it, um, it probably will come off quite easily. So as you can see, some of the, some of the edges clear edges it was sort of coming off so I've just tried to eyeball where to put it um, this is it here I've got to smooth out some of the bumps but I'm just going to really delicately do that so that it doesn't rip and tear the decal but as you can see the little edges um, on it where I cut it so got to be careful with what I'm doing. Alright, so I'm going to perfect this. 
Okay, so I've smoothed out the edges. I've just got to pat it dry and let it rest. But the key is to not touch it a million times. The key is to position it in the right place to start with. Okay, now to do the other ones. Okay, so this is the stitch length indicator. Um, I'm going to put the decals on each side of this. Um, that much up to the little indent on the plate there that you can hardly see, but it's there. And we'll see how that turns out. Okay, so this one was really difficult. I tried to line up the little bumps with the other, other bumps and try and make it aligned. It was just a bit hard because of the surface and then it got stuck and then it wouldn't move and wouldn't slide. But I'm finding that it's easier if I wet the actual item first and then stick the sticker on the top and then let it absorb all the water and then slide it off because when I dip it in the actual container of water it just comes straight off the paper and gets all crinkled. It floats really easily. So I've done this one. It's not completely accurate with the markings on it. It's really hard to move. I might be able to do it later on but it's hard to get the two of them aligned because the stickers do not match the actual indent markings. When I try to align the two of them together on both sides with the markings it actually didn't line up. It's too big. So I'm just going to leave it like that and my sewing machine technician can service my machine and get it all working and I'll just leave that as decoration. Decals have to line up into two pieces. They overlap each other on the sewing machine. Next step is to do the light fitting and the side wheel. 